हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस व्लॉग वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू सिक्स लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इंडियन पेनल कोड व्हिच एवरीवन मस्ट नो एज बीइंग अ लॉयर और अ ज्यूडिशियल एस्पिरेंट एंड दिस इज यूजुअली आस्क्ड विद द फैक्ट्स ऑफ द केस इन वेरियस एग्जामिनेशन सच एज ज्यूडिशियल सर्विसेज और इफ यू आर अपीयरिंग फॉर योर लॉ एग्जाम सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक एंड सी व्हाट आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिक्स लैंडमार्क जजमेंट्स ऑन द इंडियन पेनल कोड the first one is the case of paramveer singh saini versus baljeet singh and others which is a very recent judgment held in the year 2021 in this case honorable supreme court issued guidelines to install the cctv cameras inside all the police stations as well as prison across the country it was also held that the duty and responsibility for the working and maintenance of the cctv cameras shall be that of sho of the police station and the bench was comprised by justice rf nariman km joseph and anirudh boss this is a very important case as everyone must have the capture on the eye on the what was happening actually in the police stations so the second case is of the bachan singh versus state of punjab which was held in the year 1980 The Honorable Apex Court evolved the rarest of rare doctrine in this very case, which said that the death sentence should not be passed except in the rarest of rare matter. Honorable Supreme Court further, in the case of Mithu v. State of Punjab in the year 1983, declared Section 303 of IPC, which provided the mandatory death sentence, as unconstitutional and removed from the penal code. after the most important third case is of barender kumar ghosh versus emperor case in this case a group of armed men appeared before the sub postmaster and demanded the money during the commotion one of the robbers shot dead the postmaster and all of them ran away one of the culprits barender kumar ghosh who was standing outside was caught by the police the honorable supreme court in this case held that they expanded the scope of section 34 which deals with common intention under the indian penal code and sentenced barender kumar to charges of murder as he was also having the same intention as his partners in crime so this case is also famous for the section 34 of the indian penal code which is known as barender kumar ghosh versus emperor emperor sorry in this case it is generally usually asked which case is belongs to section 34 so it is a emperor versus empress case is also known as barender kumar ghosh which is a very historical cases from the examination or judiciary point of view so the fourth one is of kedarnath versus state of bihar this is a 1962 case and in this the honorable supreme court held that the sedition under section 124a of ipc does not violate article 191a of the constitution as it is a reasonable restriction in the indian constitution the supreme court also clarified that mere expression of hate and even contempt for one government cannot amount to sedition that was usually generally held in the said case important cases of k n mehra versus state of rajasthan the honorable supreme court in this case held that to commit theft one need not to take movable property permanently out of the owner's possession it is not a very essential elements to constitute a theft or as is generally held in the said case the temporary period of deprivation of the property causes loss to the owner so such cases would clearly fall within the ambit and definition of section 378 which deals with theft under the indian penal code 1860 important cases of k m nanavarti versus state of maharashtra 1962 initially declared not guilty by a jury nanavarti was retrieved in a bench trial after the jury's verdict was dismissed by the bombay high court On 11th March 1916 the high court found Nanavati guilty of killing Ahuja and sentenced him to life in prison the sentence was suspended by the governor of Bombay and you can imagine a few within hours the supreme court 
held that the pardoning power of the governor and the special leave petition cannot operate together and if a special leave petition is filed then the power of the governor will cease to exist so in the last it is it is a very important to know to all my viewers that the president and the prime minister cannot be prosecuted for any offences committed which is fall within the ambit and definitions of any of the meanings or sections which is given under the indian penal code 1860 so friend this is a very short videos general topics with the landmark judgments which is very must have to know for every person and relevant to mention in the examination if you are appearing for and if you need any further judgments also on other topics you can mention in the comment box definitely your help will be given via the videos so friends for that purpose you have to do subscribe my channel so that you will keep updated with the latest videos as soon as uploaded on the channel thank you guys for watching this vlog and meet you soon with another new interesting topic